Okay, so when you come into lab, because of the fact that we have really awful water temperatures, talk to school about that, uh, you have to start getting the water hot as fast as you possibly can. So I want you to come in and turn the water on as hot as it will go. Then I want you to put your hair up because our hair is dirty, unfortunately. So put your hair up. If you're a girl, obviously, guys, you don't really have hair, put up. So just throw it up so that it can't get in your food. Remember, hair dirty, ew, gross, but pretty. Then you're going to wash your hands. Now that our hair is up, we're done touching it, we're going to wash our hands. Remember, at least 20 seconds or happy birthday uh, with plenty of soap and warm water, which by now it is warm because I started running it before school started. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. All right. There we go. And now we are going to dry our hands. And since the water is warm, I want to start getting the water together for the soapy water for washing our dishes. So we have sink buckets underneath every single sink. This is how we're going to stop up the sink instead of using sink plugs. So you're going to put the sink bucket in the sink. Also underneath the sink, you're going to find that we have soap. You only need about a tablespoon, not a tablespoon, a teaspoon of this to make soapy water. So we're going to turn the water on. We're going to put the soap directly in the water. There we go, about a teaspoon. If you need to re-soap your water eventually, that's fine. You can refresh it, pour it out, and do it again. The other thing we need to do before we start cooking is we need to sanitize the counters. We also need to get two towels and at least one washcloth. So I'm going to grab two towels and a washcloth, which are right over here above the dryer. So two towels one washcloth, actually two washcloths because we need one for sanitizing the counters and we also need one for washing dishes. Our water is just about ready. So now we are going to sanitize our counters. The sanitation spray is underneath the cap sink. Uh, it is a hydrogen peroxide solution. Make sure you don't spray this on yourself because it can bleach your clothing. So just spray down the counters. Spray down the soap. Spray down the counter. That simple. And wipe it down. It really doesn't take long to sanitize the counters. And in fact, you can have a person in your kitchen group who is going to be in charge of sanitizing the counters. So, today we have a lot of dryer lint on the counters because the dryer lints into the room or vents into the room. So, I am getting a lot of dust off this counter right now. I feel this is the first time I've had to do this since school started, so we shouldn't have dryer lint all the time. Then this just goes back underneath the sink. Now, to wash dishes. No, first, we need an apron. You're going to grab the apron that matches your kitchen color. And we are now going to wash some dishes. Okay, this here, one of your towels is going to be the strainer for your dishes. We don't have real strainers because they take up too much room and they get dirty. We can wash towels. So this is the strainer. This is your washcloth. This is the drying towel. And I have a few dishes here to wash. It's really not that difficult. I'm sure most of you have done this before at home, so this is just a review, I hope. And you're just going to wash your dishes with a washcloth. Now, if you have something that's really stuck on, you might have to soak it a little bit while you're eating whatever it is that we're cooking for the day so that it'll come off because we just have washcloths. I do have some SOS pads, but I choose to not use them unless we need to. Rinse your dish. 
and put it on your strainer, your fake strainer. Not too difficult. And every single person inside the kitchen lab is going to have a job. Somebody's going to be washing, someone's going to be drying, someone's going to be putting away, somebody's going to be uh, doing the checkup sheet. So let's pretend like I just washed all these dishes, I've dried them, I've put them away. Then you're going to take your towels, you're going to put them in the dirty towel basket on the dryer, and you're going to sanitize the counters again with your sanitation spray. Then you're going to come over here and take a look at this cleanup list. I'm going to check mark that I've completed each of these jobs. So floor swept and mopped if necessary. So take a look at your floor. If it needs sweeping and mopping, do so. Countertops cleaned and sanitized, yes. Uh, stove top surface and interior. So surface would be the stove top surface and interior would just be if we're using the stove and generally we don't have to clean that out because it's still going to be hot. So check mark that if you cleaned it. The outsides of the cabinets free of food. Take a look. See if you splattered anything. Check it. Soap dispenser clean. Towel holder clean. This is the soap dispenser. This is the <laughs> towel holder. Take a look to make sure they are clean. Uh, the sink is free of food, so dry out. When you're done washing dishes, always dry your sink out. Uh, clean out the sink bucket, dry that out too. Then you can check mark that. Microwave, clean in and out. Generally, if we're not using the microwave, you don't even have to check that. Uh, dishes are put away in the correct spots. Take a look at this. I have put pictures of everything that's inside this cabinet on the cabinet door to make it that easy for you to put everything back in the correct spot. So take a look at the picture and put it back in the correct spot. It's not too difficult. Again, this is all common sense. Always common sense in here. Uh, let's see, dishes put away, aprons hung. So when you're done, you're gonna hang your apron back on the hook that says the kitchen color for your kitchen. If you're the last class, so sixth hour, you get to tie up the aprons. And I'm gonna show you how to do that in two seconds here. Uh, the eating tables, so if you ate at the tables, which are eating tables over here, you're going to clean those. And if you have an extra job, so I put the extra jobs on the purple chalkboards over there. If you have an extra job, it's going to say your kitchen color and which group you are. There are two groups in every kitchen, so group one, group two. So do your extra job. And check mark this all off with this beautiful dry erase marker but better than I just did because it's awful. And now to show you how to tie up your aprons. So, everybody needs to know this, not just the last class period, because sometimes we do have to tie them up very random times. So you're gonna take the ends of your apron and you're going to put them together. See, all three ends. Put them together like that, and then you're just gonna tie it like you're tying a balloon. So put it around your hand, just like you're tying a balloon. Pull it through like that. There we go. This is so that they don't get all tangled up in the washer and the dryer because they're impossible to untangle. So that is allowed. It's not too difficult. Morgan, do I miss anything?